Around the globe, major museums are flirting with change that could be revolutionary. They're trying out interactive exhibits and new digital tools, like virtual reality, that some museum observers say could blur the lines between education and entertainment. At the New York Hall of Science in Queens, environmental sustainability is taught in this interactive display, the Connected Worlds exhibit, which features 20 projectors that light up the walls and floor. At the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown, a Virginia museum set to open next year, a 4D movie will be one of the centerpieces. Visitors watching the eight-minute film will see costumed actors and special effects, smell the aroma of piped-in gunpowder, and feel their seats rumble when cannons are fired on the screen. The National World War II Museum in New Orleans has a similar immersive film that's shown on a 130-foot wide screen and features moving sets, snow, wind, and shaking seats. Smaller museums like the Illinois Holocaust Museum and Education Center in Skokie are serving as test sites for new ideas, like this interactive video of Pinhas Guter, a Holocaust survivor. Guter was taped in a setup like this one, with roughly 100 cameras and more than 6,000 LED lights, and answered about 1,200 questions in more than 20 hours of interviews. Now visitors can ask Guter questions. Do you remember any songs from your youth? And voice recognition software picks out his responses, as demonstrated in this video. It's in Polish. But not all of the new immersive exhibits hinge on the use of emerging media. The interactive exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry Chicago teaches visitors about patterns found in nature before they are left to wander through a maze of mirrors. <laughs> 